Welcome to Screencast 10A, Probability and Odds. We are going to talk first about the probability of finding an event, and then we're going to compare that to finding the odds for an event and against an event. They have many things in common, but there are very important differences as well. The problem that we're going to be working on states, a single die is rolled. What is the probability? odds for and odds against rolling a 3. I've put some formulas up here on the screen for us today and the first one is finding the probability of an event. Probability is found by taking the number of ways an event can occur and dividing it by the total number of possible and equally likely outcomes. In our particular problem, we know that if we roll a single die, it has six sides. We know that each of the six sides has an equally likely chance of coming up. For our particular problem, there is only one three on a six-sided die. The probability, then, is going to be one over six because there are six sides to the die. We can change that to a percent if we so desire by taking 1, dividing it by 6, and multiplying by 100, which gives us a 16.6% chance. Remember that when you're figuring probability, probability is a scale that goes from 0 to 1, or 0 to 100%. 0 being not occurring, and 1 being absolutely certain to occur. In this particular example, our probability of 16.6% is pretty low. But if by chance you ended up with an answer for a probability problem of less than 0 or greater than 1 or 100%, something has been done incorrectly. Make sure you go back and check your answer. To recap, probability is the number of ways an event can occur over the total number of outcomes. When we're looking at the odds of an event occurring or for an event occurring, Notice the similarity. Our numerator still is going to be the number of ways an event can occur. So if we're looking at our problem, the odds of rolling a 3, that numerator is still going to be 1. But the denominator is different. In this particular problem, the denominator is the number of ways an event cannot occur. Now we know that there are six possible numbers that can show up when we roll a die. One of them is our winning number. That leaves five as losing numbers. We can almost think of this as the number of ways in a game to win over the number of ways to lose. When I set up my problem, that means that I'm going to put my one over five. A difference now from probability, we will not be turning this into a percent. We can leave probability as a ratio, or we can say the probability for rolling a 3 is 1 to 5, numerator to denominator, or we can say that it is 1 to 5 with a colon in between the numbers. However, we don't change it to a percent. The third part of this problem asks us to find the odds against rolling a 3. Carefully look at the numerator of this problem and compare it to the first two. This time we're going to be looking at the number of ways an event cannot occur, which in our problem we already know is 5, compared to the number of ways it can occur. In this particular case, the odds are 5 to 1, written in any of these three formats. The way that you'd like to write it really is up to you. These ratios can be simplified. If this had been something like 2 over 10, we could have simplified it to 1 over 5. The same is true with probability. The, the initial ratio can be simplified. That's something that they have in common. Now notice in odds that it is possible if we were to simplify these ratios, which to a whole number equivalents, which we're not going to do, it is possible that we would get a value greater than 1. So that's another difference between finding odds and finding probability. However, remember, we're going to leave odds as a ratio, 
whereas probability, we do have the option of changing it to a decimal or to a percent. Thank you for watching this screencast.